A public policy analyst, Sessa Kakum, says First Lady Aisha Buhari should have the decency to inform Nigerians if she is battling any health conditions since she lives fat off our commonwealth. Akum said this in a Facebook post on Wednesday while reacting to the arrest and alleged brutalization of a university student, Aminu Muhammad, by security agents suspected to be acting on the First Lady's orders. Muhammad, who is a 500-level student, allegedly tweeted an insult about the First Lady on June 8, 2022. The tweet, which was posted in Hausa and accompanied by a photo of Aisha Buhari, reads, Sumama Anchi Kudin Takawa Nkoshi. The tweet loosely translates as, Mama has eaten poor people's money and is now full. Amid the controversy generated by Mohammed's ordeal, some Nigerians had blamed the 23-year-old for being insensitive, pointing out that the first lady could be battling a health condition that caused the weight gain. Reacting, Akum said, some say the tyrannical Aisha Buhari may be suffering from a condition, therefore her obesity, and shouldn't be mocked. I don't care. She lives fat off our commonwealth and should have had the decency to tell us what ails her. She'd have had sympathy and empathy. The crude arrogance on luxuriating on our commonwealth and refusing to be accountable, while at the same impoverishing us is what gets. When the courageous young man pointed out that she has put on excess weight from consumption, it was on her to clarify the position, a perfect time to do so, had she anything in her head and content in her rather than arrogance. A journalist, Jaffer Jaffer, has alleged that First Lady Aisha Buhari joined her security detail in beating up a university student, Amina Muhammad, to a pulp. He added that she fractured her leg in the process of kicking the victim. Recall that the First Lady has been in the news in recent times for allegedly orchestrating the arrest of Muhammad, who purportedly insulted her in a tweet. Muhammad, who is a 500-level student of Federal University, Dutson Jigawa State, posted a tweet from his Twitter handle at Amanullahi on June 8, 2022, which the First Lady supposedly found insulting. The tweet, which was posted in Hausa and accompanied by a photo of Aisha Buhari, reads, Sumama Anchi Kudin Takawa Nkoshi. The tweet loosely translates as, Mama has eaten poor people's money and is now full. Jaffer said that contrary to reports, Muhammad was not arrested by personnel of the Department of State Services, also now as SSS, but by plain-clothed policemen. He said, from my findings, it was not SSS but plain-clothed policemen who arrested and tortured a final-year student at Amanullahi, and another lady named Zainab Kasim. The operation was engineered and executed by Aisha Buhari's ADC Usman Shugaba. It may sound like a fairy tale, but the following is actually what transpired. The duo was beaten to a pulp in the presence of Mrs. Buhari by three security aides. While Aminu and Ms. Kasim were being beaten, the First Lady felt that they were not beating them well, so joined them. As she attempted to throw a kick, she slipped and fractured her leg. Jaffer, who is the publisher of Daily Nigerian, recounted how the medium broke a news story of the First Lady visiting a hospital after fracturing her leg. It was the injury she suffered during the assault that took her to Cedarcrest Hospital for treatment. While Ms. Kasim was released on the condition that she would not speak to the press, the final year student may face trumped-up charges of defamation. This is sad for democracy, the journalist added. The presidency has not responded to the allegation since it was posted on Monday. U.S.-based Nigerian professor, Moses Akinu, has said that First Lady Aisha Buhari may have allowed insecurity about her weight to get the better of her. Akinu said this in a Facebook post while reacting to the reported arrest of Aminu Muhammad, a 500-level student of Federal University, Dutz, Jigawa State. Muhammad was reportedly arrested by plainclothed policemen over a June 8, 2022 tweet purportedly mocking the First Lady. A journalist, Jaffer Jaffer, alleged on Monday that the First Lady's aide-de-camp, Usman Shugaba, orchestrated the arrest and torture of the victim. He further alleged that Aisha Buhari joined Shugaba in beating Muhammad to a pulp, adding that she fractured her leg while trying to kick the victim. Reacting on Tuesday, Akinu expressed surprise that the First Lady could resort to such brazen acts, having been known for being circumspect if not discreet about the exercise of power. She was known for being self-critical and blunt about hers and her husband's failings. Some people even saw her as the conscience of a disastrous administration, able to rise above the Oso Rock bubble and look inward critically.
Moreover, many more damaging and malicious statements and allegations have been made or insinuated about her, and she never lashed out or sent security people after those who made those allegations and attacks. Why was this time different? Why is the case of the young Fu Dut student different? What about his statement allegation sent her over the edge? Why did she send security agencies to abduct, torture, and detain him, he asked. Proposing a theory on the matter, Akanu stated, I have a theory. The young man's social media post alluded to her weight. Most people are sensitive about their weight gain, women even more so. Everyone who has been observant knows that Aisha Buhari has packed on a few pounds since her husband became president, and she first lady. The young man stated essentially that, ta si i kudin talakawa ta koshi, meaning that she has grown fat or full on the money of the Nigerian poor. And he posted her current photo alongside his statement to illustrate his point about literally feeding fat on Nigeria's money. The truth is that her weight gain, contrary to the young man's suggestion, may have nothing to do with food, access to public money, or enjoyment as we say in Nigeria. It is more likely a medical issue or the familiar struggle of middle-aged people with weight as their metabolism slows down. In fact, contrary to popular belief in Nigeria, truly rich people or people who have access to money, licit or illicit, rarely pack on the pounds instead, they even tend to lose weight. Why would you eat more or eat unhealthy food when you can afford to eat sumptuous but healthy meals? I have always said that if I ever become rich, I will get into the best shape of my life and leave my healthiest life. I would hire a private chef to make me healthy meals. I would also hire a personal physical trainer. I may even retain the services of a nutritionist. Most rich people can afford these resources and therefore tend to lead healthier lives as they grow richer. Only few rich people go in the other direction and gain weight, but that's often due to underlying conditions, genetics, and, in a few cases, lack of awareness. Aisha Buhari, I suspect, allowed her weight insecurity to get the better of her in this situation. That's probably why someone known for self-critical restraint has acted like a power-mad person in this situation. At any rate, if she thought that sending security agencies after the young man would deter further comments about her alleged chopping and growing fat on our national resources, she has calculated wrongly because Nigerian and Erwa social media has been awash with photo comparisons and memes of her before and after she moved to Asa Rock. She has unleashed the trolls. She is receiving Wodo Wodo, and the new memes make the statement of the detained young man seem like a compliment. As we say in Nigeria, she donned by market.